the um, Premier Palace Hotel. I'm walking down to Krishatik and uh, I'm going to the supermarket to get some food. They've announced that it's okay to go to supermarkets and pharmacies. Um, the problem that we're having is that uh, because of the weapons that the Zelensky regime uh, handed out willy-nilly in the last few days, a lot of criminals have these uh, military-grade weapons, quite frankly. And so uh, there's been robberies, there's been looting, there's been rapes, there's been all kinds of havoc because of these criminals. And uh, it's known for a fact that these, uh, that the, a lot of the shooting that went on last night in Kiev had nothing to do with the Russians. The Russians were 10 kilometers or more away from from these shootings. So it was clearly probably gang related, gang settling scores and uh, shooting one another. Um, that's something that the Western media is not talking about of how the Zelensky regime by handing out weapons has uh, basically given weapons to all the criminal elements in the city. And uh, the criminal elements in the city are, uh, first of all, figuring out uh, their dominance hierarchy and this anarchy that the government has created. And soon enough, once that's settled, they'll start um, targeting the civilians. That's what the uh, Zelensky regime has done, okay? So, so let's not pretend otherwise. These, these people have created, they are creating chaos in Ukraine in the name of, uh, you know, the people fighting against the Russians. It's absurd, it's irresponsible, and it will only hurt the Ukrainian people. And uh, I've, I've come to the conclusion that the Zelensky regime is evil. And, and uh, I live in Ukraine, I uh, have Ukrainian family members, I think that the Ukrainian people are a brave, gentle, and wonderful people. But um, at this time, I think that uh, the Zelensky regime has gone insane and uh, should be uh, 